Alright, what's good, y'all? How we doing? How we doing? Um, sorry. Cool. Hey, hackers. Uh, yeah, today we're going to do some uh, payload development. Um, let me actually, you know, yell at the Discord because not all of the peoples have. Uh, Discord stuff on. Let's do it. Paint everyone. I know you guys can't see my screen. Um, I mean, I can just. I mean, there you go. Boom. Um, everyone live on YT. Exclamation point. And then I can just exclamation point channel, I think. Does that not work in conjunct or every like that? Exclamation point channel. There you go. You have to do it as a separate, separate message. Gotcha. Uh, there you go. Cool, cool, cool. But yeah, today. Um, hold on. Let me go back in my face. Yeah. So this right here, this little, this little thing. This is the shark jack. Um, it's kind of like a, uh, I don't really know how to describe it. It's kind of like, it's a network hot plug, really. Um, you know, we can just go on the website and kind of, you know, uh, why should I explain it when we have people to explain it for me? Uh, we can go on shop at five. All right. Um, so if we go into products, shark jack, there you go, Shark Jack. It's kind of like a hot plug. It's pretty cool. Um, basically, it's like a tiny Linux computer. Um, it can run, oh, it can run DuckyScript and run Bash. Um, you can have like it do network scans and such. But here's what I was thinking, right? That's cool. So yeah, the default payload does an Nmap scan, so it's pretty cool because like as soon as you plug it into the network, it has network access. So when you plug it in, you can have it do, you know, all the cool hacker things. But what I was thinking is, okay, so I'm a malware developer, right? The first thought I thought of this is somehow kind of getting some sort of like, like basic worm virus. Like, I feel like you could totally do that. Cause first of all, we can SSH into this. Um, I was also thinking of like backdoors and stuff, but basically, um, when we plug this in, it gets an internet connection. This is a whole like microcomputer, so we can SSH onto it, do a bunch of cool things, but we can also have this automate a lot of our tasks. Cause this has Nmap built into it, so I don't have to make some sort of like ping sweeper to scan for like network or devices on the network and such when it has actual Nmap to do it for me. Um, so we can have it run an Nmap scan and then check all the devices, check what ports are open, and see if it could spread some sort of payload. Uh, or malware or something um, of course with ethical intent uh, this is for education purposes and obviously we're not going to do all this in one video right now um, we're still kind of playing around with it trying to learn how to use it and all of that cool stuff um, yeah so I'm trying to remember what's the the off switch is all the way back and then the on switch is all the way front and then the middle switch do I have uh, I lost like all of my cards and I can't remember where I put them. Little high five information cards. I I have them some they're somewhere in here. Um but yeah, I found one the uh, one for the shark jack. Um these things, I know the camera will not focus on it. It's not going to. But um yeah, that's what I'm talking about. Alright, yeah, so this is what we're gonna do. Um All right, army switch is the middle, and then attack is all the way to the front. Awesome, I knew that already, I think. Um, but yeah, so let's put in army mode, which is that middle switch. And then um, I'm gonna plug it into my computer and then get some sort of USB-C power. All right, and, whoa, plug it into the back. Um, so that way we can kind of have it be on our computer and stuff. Um, there you go, so 
so we're back on here we can go ahead and minimize um, yeah this is a payload I kind of started working on uh, we can kind of go over it later um, yeah so we can clear this um, so what we can do is shift O we'll move this up a little bit um, Hmm. Oh yeah. So you can see in the network area, it's going to try to connect to this. Our wire connection to is the um, shark jack. So once it connects, we can actually SSH into it. All right, cool. So let's try you now SSH SS SSHing into it. Uh, so the root at uh, 172.168.1. Uh, no, it's not that one. It's that 16.24.1. I think that's the IP address. There it is. Type in your password. The default password is hack5shark, but um, I already have mine set up. Yo! There you go. Hot dang. So there you go. There's the... Uh, right, so if we list, we can see that we have the uh, two different sections. Um, in the payload section, I just put an email that txt and password.txt containing the credentials um, in case if we need to do any SMTP. Now, I know I made a video about Google trying to remove or they're moving their uh, um, less secure app access, so we can't really use SMTP anymore after May 20th. Um, but I did find an alternative that I will showcase in a future stream. But until then, we'll kind of just use it as proof of concept and stuff if our payloads come to that point. Um, but yeah, so I'll kind of see the ad here and kind of list some of the ideas I was working on. So I was kind of working on this backdoor idea, right? Like a hardware backdoor it may have been showcased before, but um, I mean, it's a computer running SSH and I mean, having a hardware backdoor would just be cool. I have no idea what that payload that SH is. Not going to open it either. So let me um, type RF. Payload SH cool. All right, anyways, um, cool. So what I want to do is kind of first of all, I want to get curl on here, right? So I can actually CD into my backdoor and go on Codium Payload SH. I can kind of show you the progress so far. Um, I'm not going to click on that link. Please do not click on that link. Actually, you know what? Um, I'm going to just like break the link up just so that way there's like. All right, cool. So that link basically shows um, like the raw version of like your IP address. I'm not going to click on it because I'm not trying to expose myself. But <laughs> um, this is how you can get your private IP address going to that uh, link um, without all of those hyphens or attacks. Uh, but this will get our one on the network. So what I want to do is try to see if we can get um, this to get our IP address off of um, the computer. So right, if I run this on our shark jack, right, control C, um, usage, did that not work? Are we supposed to echo it or something? Echo. What? Maybe we can save the output to a file. We'll call it ip.txt. If we cat ip.txt, nothing's in there. All right, so that doesn't work. <laughs> uh, so we need to find another way to get our uh, public IP address. Um, so get public or get, um, I guess we could literally just do like an if config and then just have it send the output of the if config to us. Um, that's kind of cheap, but I mean, it works, right? I guess we can grip out the if config a little bit. Uh, doing that awk command, right? AWK. Um, I think we do if config, right? You'll see. Yeah, so 172, that's 16.24.1. Yeah. Um, like, yeah, but like when you plug it into like a network, 
um, its IP address is going to have one in the network. Now, doesn't Darren have the the blinker payload, right? Yeah. So if you guys haven't seen this, um, right. So I was trying to find a way to get curl onto this, um, and then he showed this payload um, in the shark jack. So basically, what it does is it shows the last octet of your Wi-Fi, uh, like of your IP address. So basically, if your IP address on the router, it's like the router's IP address is 192.168.1.0, like most routers are, um, the Sharkjack will blink its um, IP address. How does he get the IP address? Grep, INET, wait for IP address to be obtained. All right. Um, can we just run that and then save it to like a text file? <laughs> All right, so yeah, that gets the one here. And then, wait, so if we include this, will that get just the IP address by itself? ADDR172, oh, perfect. Perfect, so this is all we need technically, right? So can we go in our payload and just replace that, right? So we're gonna have to make a new payload for this thing. Um, so like, we'll just call, I guess we can CD out of here and then make a directory for testing, right? CD into testing. And I'm pretty sure the payload needs to be called payload that, um, or what's it called? Payload data. SH, I think it's like a requirement. Uh, so touch payload. Actually, we can do this in Vim. Uh, touch payload that SH. All right, cool. So what we need to do is do the, what is it like bin bash? And then we can literally just paste this command in here and then output it as an IP.txt. Um, yeah. <laughs> is that it? Uh, and it should save it, right? Or we can even do uh, slash root slash loot slash ip.txt. Make it a little bit more professional, huh? Um, so we can escape, save this, and um, so I'll quickly show you guys how to actually upload things to your shark track. So you do SCP, tech R, and then you take whatever payload you have and then save it to the root account at the IP address, which is 172.16. 24.1 I think and then save it to the root and then payload path um, that should be it you just type in the password come on I know I know I typed my password in wrong hold up bro what why can I not type my password in Permission denied. <laughs> uh, let's try this again, y'all. All right, finally, holy mackerel, golly! All right, um, so we can <laughs> that took forever, but if we go in here, we can list in the payload section, and you can see that list is there you go our payload sh is finally in here oh my gosh all right cool so what we'll do is we'll control x out of here you can literally um just unplug it i think um hopefully that's not too dangerous um should i turn it off first all right yeah i'll turn it off and unplug it now i'm going to leave this window open simply because when we plug it back in we'll get our ssh connection back into it um but you see we did disconnect it right there's no longer that wire connection it's literally, um, it's in my hand right here. Cool. So I'm gonna unplug it because the battery's full. We don't need to have it plugged in anymore. Um, but I have a network uh, switch thingy jig over here, and I'm gonna plug this in on attack mode. And technically, when I plug it in to my network on attack mode. It's going to get this IP address and save it to a text file. 
Um, if that works, then we got the first step done. We also need to get curl installed onto this thing and a bunch of other stuff. But, you know, one step at a time. All right, so I just plugged it in. It's doing this little thing. Uh, I can't really show it because it's like, <laughs> uh, you know, camera placement. But it is plugged in. It's doing this thing. I didn't really do any LED statuses either, so I actually don't know when the payload is going to finish, um, which was really dumb on my part. But, you know, it is what it is. All right, it should be done by now. Actually, yeah, it should be done. It's just getting this IP address and saving it. Um, so I unplugged it. I'm going to put it in army mode and plug it back into my computer. We'll go back on my screen. So we'll wait for this to, uh, you know, work. Come on, Shark Jack. Come on, Shark Jack. You got this, buddy. Uh, should I turn it off and then into army mode? It's a little warm. <laughs> Do I have to plug it in? Is that what it is? I want to like degrade the battery or anything like that. Oh yeah, so I do have to plug it in, I think. I think. All right, yeah, so now you can see that wire connection's back. Um, cool. So we'll wait, wait for the light to stop blinking so that way we can reconnect. All right, perfect. So if we CD, yeah, all right, so yeah, this connection is hanging. Um, because we don't have, come on, connect, 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 connect. There you go. There you, oh, client really disconnected, dang. Wow. Bro, if I type in my password one more time, I'm literally going to change the password. I'm changing the password. I'm changing the password on my, I'm, I'm changing the password on this dumb freaking strike jet. Oh my God, pass WD right now. I'm changing the password right now. Oh my gosh. New password. All right, I just showed the password I'm using, but you know. <laughs> All right, let's change a different password. Different password. Uh, pass WD. New password. Oh my god. Alright, uh, what's a good password, guys? We'll just do subscribe. Subscribe. Here's the thing, I don't really care if you guys have the password because we're on different networks, but... Password change for root by root. Thank god. Thank freaking god. Alright. <laughs> now, anyways, let's, um, if we CD, or if we just list the loot directory, package installer. Oh, did that ever work? CD into package installer list. Cat package installer log. Signature check pass. Uh, I have no idea if that worked or not. We'll worry about that later. Um, let's CD out of here list. All right. So apparently the payload either didn't work or um, we just didn't do something right. Do we have Vim? Oh, we do have them. All right, awesome. So let's list and go into our payload directory. And if we list, we'll vim our payload.sh. All right, in here, we'll do our LED setup. And then we will do, ah, I forgot the syntax, LED finish. <laughs> All right. If you don't mind me asking, I'm very new to this whole thing. What exactly are you doing in the most non-techie terms possible? I per I got you. I got you. I got you. All right. Um, so I have two. So I'll pull out my other one. Um, cool. 
This little device here is called a shark jack. This shark jack is basically a network hot plug, right? So you know your Wi-Fi, your network, like with those Ethernet cords and stuff. Um, basically, what this allows us to do is, I'm sure you're familiar with Linux, right? It's basically a Linux computer with a giant Ethernet plug attached to it. So when you plug it in, you have an entire computer that's immediately connect connected to the network, which means we can have uh, this thing, you know, do like an MAP scan, right? So it can scan the network and we can see what devices are on the network without even having to know the Wi-Fi password because um, we can just plug it into an Ethernet port um, that we may have access to. Um, what I'm trying to do with this is because it's a whole little Linux computer, um, I want to start trying to create like as many like different payloads and such as I can. Um, one of the payload ideas I have is to turn it into a backdoor, right? So basically it starts up a server that we can connect to. And because we can connect to this computer, this computer is already on the network. So we can just have like immediate access to the network. That's one of the ideas. Uh, another idea I have is t creating this into something called a worm virus. A worm virus is simply a virus that spreads. Um, it's also a ton, you know, in simple terms, a uh, worm virus is a virus that spreads. Um, so because we have this computer that's immediately connected to the network, uh, we can scan for all the devices on the network. We can see what ports are open on devices on the network and we can spread malware to those devices. Um, so I hope I said that in non-techie terms, uh, basically in like too long, didn't hear or didn't understand. Um, we have a device that gives us media access to the internet and or to the network and we can do all the cool things with it. Hopefully that was semi clear. I'm sorry if it was not. Uh, if you need more clarification, I can totally say it in better English. I'm so sorry. Um, escape shifts. All right, cool. So I guess we can try this again. Um, yeah. All right. <laughs> so I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to unplug this. I'm going to put it ah, directly into my network and then put it in attack mode. And by the will of God, he <laughs> it might consider working. It might, it might consider working. Uh, it's still deciding if it wants to work or not. But um, if it does consider working, I'll let y'all know. Um, I'm gonna just turn it off and on again. I think that's kind of just like the go-to solution for everything. I've always wondered why that works so well. You know, like turning stuff off and on again. <laughs> Bro, that's freaking awesome. So even if the Wi-Fi password is protected, you're able to get around the password because you have your own computer on the connected Wi-Fi. Yeah, yeah, basically, right? So. Um, Wi-Fi is just one of the ways we can connect to the network, right? You ever seen um, these cords, right? Ethernet, these little RJ5, I think RJ5, are those, are those, are those what they are called? <laughs> they have like these little flash connectors, right? If you plug this into that switch that's connected to like you know, your router and then plug this into your computer, you don't need the Wi-Fi password because you're not connecting to the Wi-Fi, you're just directly wired into the internet. Um, that device kind of exploits that concept of, hey, we can just get this computer directly connected to the network. It's pretty cool. Um, RJ45, thank you. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, in the meantime, um, I have no idea if my payload's working. Uh, <laughs> I might just have to, like, keep unplugging it and plugging it back in or something. Um. I need another camera so I can like show you. I can probably move my camera. There's like a, oh, that's trippy. Oh my God, that is trippy. All right, yeah, so, so I can show you guys. That's the uh, network, right? And right here, there's slots that I can put the, uh, uh, what do you call it? Um, Shark Jack, all right, yeah, cool. So if I put it into, uh, 
attack mode on the network. Please use your magic ways, Mr. Sharkjack. Alright, turned it off. I'm gonna wait a second. Turn it back on. If this doesn't work, we're going to uh, try to get curl onto here. Um, I think there's the package installer payload. Um, we also should probably open up the Hack5 documentation for the Sharjack. <sighs> Where are the LED settings? Anyone know? LED command, yeah. So when it does the LED setup, where's setup? Oh yeah, there you go. LED setup. Um, oh, there you go. Sorry. LED setup is M solid. M is magenta, I'm assuming. Yeah, magenta. So that's solid. So what's finish is a green solid. Oh, so my payload did finish. Wait a second. It's green. It's solid. Hold up. All right, let's unplug it and let it cool down because it's starting to get a little warm. I don't need it blowing up. Um, <laughs> all right, cool. So we have that done um, or might be done. But where's the package install? Yeah, yeah, yeah. So this installs packages, right? Uh, this, this gets it to install nano onto the thing. Uh, but instead, uh, what we wanted to do, right? If I list, list, nope, CD out of here, nope. Bro, I am so bad at typing and it's insane. Even though I know how to touch type in everything, um, it is terrible. Uh, yeah, so we have the package installer payload right here. So if we go into package installer, list, we'll just vim our payload.sh yeah so I have curl here I tried it on a different network and didn't work but now that I'm on my actual home network it probably will work better um, so we'll try that but uh, first 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 let's plug the shark jack back in and uh, I keep dropping this USB-C cord um, so I'll put it in arming mode army mode and plug it in maybe the new shark jack might be a little bit better because it's like has the cord but at the same time they do the same thing just one has a cord and one doesn't um <laughs> epic <laughs> all right let me see um all right now we just have to wait for this connection so you can see like right above my head there's that little spinny circle we need that to turn into a square and that means we have connection. So we need that circle to stop circling, stop buffering, and just get the internet connection already. Literally, the only reason I'm able to stream is because of the second ethernet cord I have. Literally, if I had just plugged this in, my like internet would not work. Uh, so <laughs> There you go, it turned into the little square thingy. Um, awesome, awesome. So that means we should, in theory, be able to connect back what did we change the password to again it was subscribe or something dumb like that bro what did I change the password to there you go you know my heart skipped a beat for a second when it couldn't type the password in correctly I think it might just be me that be better typing even if I change the password I'm still going to mess it up um, but if we list the loot directory, I think. IP.txt, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. It didn't work. Seriously, it didn't work? How did that not work? What? This is basic uh, stuff, bro. How did it create the IP.txt file? What? Let's see the into our payload right now. I am mad, I am infuriated. Let's uh, vim into our payload. This command right here. All right, what we'll do is uh, we'll edit this. All right, so we'll have this be saved to a variable. We'll call this our 
address be equal to dollar sign quotation mark quotation mark it's not a quotation mark that is a parenthesis um and then whoops and the parenthesis all right and then we can have dollar sign can we just echo dollar sign address to our root loot ip.txt escape all right let's try this bro all right all right turned it off let me just go back on my face turn it back on and just plug it in i assume maybe it needs to be plugged in when we I have no idea how to use the chart deck if I'm being like completely honest. We're just kind of figuring it out as we go. <laughs> I think it seems to work just like when you just leave it plugged in and such. Um, so you can create a backdoor with this tool using the internet. Uh, can you also install a backdoor using a rubber ducky? Which do you think is the most efficient or it depends when you're given? Yeah, totally. So, um, I am currently, so I made a remote, made and still am making, okay, we finished it. We're just adding stuff to it. Um, but we made a remote access toolkit, also known as a rat, right? It's basically a type of malware, um, that gives you, um, basic, ac actually I can show you guys if you want to see part of it. Uh, I'm not going to boot up the virtual machine. I have it targeted towards. But if I do only rat, and then blue, see that. just to kind of give you some context. So I built this. This is me, Blue Cosmo. Hello. Um, basically, this is a, oh, I, you can't even see my screen. <laughs> there you go. My screen. Perfect. Uh, so this, let me just show you guys because now the, all the hype is lost. All the hype is lost. All right, cool. So um, only rat is a remote access toolkit that I'm building on the channel. Um, remote access toolkit is basically a type of malware right um you can see it's created by me so it's not just like i'm saying i made it. i did actually make this and there are streams of me making this um but basically this installs a backdoor into a computer uh, but also gives us an entire toolkit of stuff we can do so i program stuff to make it log keystrokes i programmed it to get like pictures through the webcam get pictures of the screen all that stuff um and this can be installed with the rubber ducky i haven't made the payload yet but this type of thing could be installed with the rubber ducky. Um, with something like the shark jack, you're not getting access to the a device, you're getting access to the network, right? So if you want, so right now, like with the shark jack and making the backdoor payload that I'm trying to make, technically the backdoor will be the shark jack, right? And we can just remotely connect to the shark jack and have access to the network. But when it comes to like only rat or like a USB rubber ducky backdoor, it's going to be a backdoor to the computer. So it really depends on your target. If you're targeting the network, then yeah, the shark jack would be so much better. But if you're targeting a device, then something like the rubber ducky would be better. Uh, but it looks like our uh, shark jack is done. So I'm going to put it in uh, arming mode <laughs> and plug it in to my computer. Um, and if we go back onto my computer screen, all right, so let's control D on this. Uh, can I just, hello, hello. Oh yeah. We have to wait for the, we have to wait for the thing to stop buffering. Yeah. This little, little circle up there right above my head. This hold up. Can I point at it? That circle right there. We need to wait for that to turn into a square. The explanation was perfect and helps me a lot. Ton. Yeah, of course, of course, of course, of course. Um, I just need this circle. Where is the circle? Circle. That one right there, dude. <laughs> Come on. This is the thing about streaming. You guys could like, you know, the live action pain of payload development. Um, I think if we can't get this IP thingy to work, we're just going to skip over it for now. And uh, <laughs> and we're just going to focus on getting the um, 
uh, curl onto there because curl with curl we can use it to uh, do SMTP stuff. So yeah, that is taking a weirdly long time. Is that not taking a weirdly long time for you guys? Maybe I am. Maybe I'm just yeah. Kill kill the shell. Kill it. What? Yes. Kill it. All right. We'll try it again. We'll try it again. SSH. Can I just? Oh my gosh! All right, Shark Jack. Are you okay? <laughs> All right. We'll turn it off and on again because this thing is, you know, taking its sweet time. Um, off and on again. There you go. It is hot in here. I'm gonna turn my fan or heater off. Hot dang, it is hot. Ooh, whoops. Alright. Come on, dude. This is taking it is sweet time, bro. What the heck? It says it's connected to, which is kind of wild, but we need to wait for that to actually say it's connected. All right, I'm unplugging this and like. Maybe it was overcharging. I don't know. All right, it's blinking yellow saying it's in army mode, so. <laughs> oh, it says it's connected. It says it's connected. It says it's connected. Bro, it says it. It. Oh, it's not connected. Okay. <laughs> oh my god. I'm just exposing myself on YouTube. Alright. Trying this for, you know, the next time around. While we're waiting for this, let's go ahead and... Um, oh, is this payload already ready for this thing, right? So we just cat out the payload. This is the curl one, right? Curl. Right. I don't see the word curl, so I'm kind of concerned. Ugh, this is why I use freaking Vim, All right? Vim payload slash curl. There you go. Yep, this is the right payload. All right. Um, whoa. All right, there you go. All right. So while it's still taking its time, <laughs> my God, hot dang! All right, there you go. Woo! I think it's starting to get overworked a little bit, guys. I don't know. Uh, subscribe. Super secure password. I promise you it is. Um, I'm sure that's in Rocky too. Like, I would search that up right now, but I'm lazy. So if we cat out the loot directory and then ip.txt. Are you serious? Are you are you kidding me? All right, fine. If you want to be that way, you can be that way. I live by an Air Force Base, by the way, so you can probably hear the planes in the freaking audio, but it's fine. Um, all right, so let's. I made a uh, bash alias to save myself some time with uploading all this. Subscribe. Uh, but I already showed you guys how to upload it, right? So, uh, cool. So if we list in our payload direct, nope, payload directory. There you go. Cat out our payload. This should be the curl package. Yes, perfect, perfect. All right. So we can control D on that for now, and that would mean we can turn off our shark jack. We can unplug it, unplug it, and let it cool. Hot! It is hot, yo. <laughs> it's starting to get a little warm. Like, all right, let me see. Cause like, what I want to do, right? If I show you guys, this is the kind of concept behind the. Um, this is kind of the concept between. Oh my gosh, guys! I'm so sorry. I'm forgetting my words. Uh, this is the concept behind the back door. Yeah. So I have my credentials in two different files simply so I don't show you guys my password and email on stream. 
Uh, but yeah, those are the email and password. Um, this would get our public IP address. This would get our private IP address. Obviously, I broke the link in a bunch of hyphens so that way I don't click on it and show my IP address to the world. Um, and then this just gets uh, creates an info.txt to send an email with that we can use curl to send the email with. I know curl is freaking crazy. Um, and then we just remove that file. Um, <laughs> But basically what this would allow us to do, obviously we would need to have it set up the SMTP server, I mean the SSH server, uh, but it would email us those IP addresses and such. So that way we can just, you know, use the dang thing. Um, but regardless, um, do we plug it into, did we just upload the curl payload? Yeah, we did. So I'm gonna put it in Sicko mode. <laughs> I think I'm gonna just call it attack mode, sicko mode now. That's how you know my brain stuck in like 2017. All right. Um, all right. So I plugged it in. It's flashing green. It's doing its thing. Uh, I think that just means it's booting up. <laughs> all right. Now it's a green solid color, which means it should be done, right? Oh, it's magenta. Oh, that means it's setting up. And then it turned yellow a few times, I think. What? Is this is this in the documentation? Oh, it turned red. It didn't work. Is this too con is getting its IP Oh the shark jack can't install the curl package right now. Hot dang. All right, so these are the four ways we can install curl. Right now, this doesn't work. <laughs> Open, all right, so what is the SSH IP blinker payload? Uh, let's look at this payload together, guys. All right, so basically what it does is um set net mode to HTTP. start the ssh yeah so this is the syntax we're going to use right here like this syntax right here to start the ssh server with the uh, shark jack we're definitely going to use that so that way we can remotely access it um but this just blinks out the ip address with you know the led on the damn thing yeah see so it's just blinking red right now hold up Obviously, this was plugged into the network. I didn't just plug it in into attack mode and just hope it worked. Um, <laughs> um, but, okay, so that doesn't want to work. Um, I'm going to turn it off. And, all right, so now we can try using the SSH IP blinker payload. So that way it blinks out the IP address. Yeah, let me explain to you guys how this actually works um, while we let this cool down. So basically what it does is it gets our you know IP address off the network. Um, and then the last octet, which is this zero right here, it will blink um, to kind of show the number. So for example, if the last octet is 42, it will blink four times, pause, and then blink twice. Um, yeah. So hopefully that works. Um, do I have that payload on my computer here? Uh, let's see the out of here list. And yeah, we have the SSH IP blinker. So see the SSH IP blinker um, and list payload.sh uh, cat payload.sh. All right, just making sure. Um, yeah, I don't really, really making sure of. All right, cool. So let's. Uh, try this uh, I guess we need to plug it into our computer in arming mode uh, and wait for it to connect <laughs> we'll get some water while we wait hey it's me <laughs> Cool. All right, 
right, let me see. What else do I need to do? I'm kind of just waiting for this thing to connect. Um, all right, cool. Um, take your time, Shard Jack. <laughs> I'm sure this is a super entertaining stream. I'm probably tactical hydration break. You know it. You know it. Uh, SJ upload. Subscribe. <laughs> um, all right. Is that it? So let me make sure because I don't trust. I have trust issues. All right. Let's go all over here. Subscribe. All right. And let's CD into payload and then cat out the payload that sh i'm glad it had the payload out and not the password out um anyways um yeah all right cool the payload's on here awesome 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 so what we'll do is we will go to my face let's unplug this dang thing turn it off all right um i shouldn't really need to unplug it <laughs> That was kind of pointless, but you know, um, we'll plug it back in, put it in attack mode and plug it into our network. Um, and just kind of pray to God that it's going to work. Um, you know, fingers crossed, fingers crossed time for another tactical hydration break. But dude, I would love to make like a worm virus on that thing and then just have it like, oh, I have to pay attention to see what the IP address that it blinks. All right, it's magenta. You know what's funny? I could like just MAP scan my entire network and then just like see what ports are open on SSH and then, I mean, what devices have SSH? One, two, one, two, three, one, two, Three, four, five. Oh, it's two thirty five. One, two. One, two, three. One, two, three, four, five. Oh, all right. Hold up. SSH. Oh, my bad, guys. I wasn't paying attention too much. Uh, root at one, nine, two. Hold up, guys. You guys can even see my screen. One, nine, two dot one, six, eight dot one dot two, three, five. Nope, two, three, six. Oh, oh my gosh, wait, hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Um, what's the password again? Subscribe. Oh, yes, yes. Oh, and we're on the network. So this isn't plugged into my computer. Look, there's no, there's no device on my computer. Oh, finally, dude. We're on the network. Oh my gosh. Debugging the real side of pen testing. On oh God. <laughs> oh my God. We're on the network. Like literally if we do if config, I think, right? Uh, yeah. So we're on the network. 236 is our IP address on this network. All right. So that works. That works. Um, so the thing is we're connected to the network, right? So could we connect if we weren't on the network? Um, that's a great question. <laughs> How could I figure out if I could connect without being connected on the network? Do I need the global, I, I mean the public IP address or the private IP address for that? I have no idea. We'll figure it out. We'll figure it out together guys. Um, but now that we know the IP address of this freaking shark jack, um, and we can remotely connect to it now. I'm oh, sorry, that was so relieving. That was so relieving. Um, literally, we can end map, right? This thing has end map, right? Yeah, dude. So we can end map scan our network. Awesome, 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 awesome. Um, so first thing I want to do is echo out. 192.168.1.236 to um, ip.txt.back. Um, cool. 
So if I list, where did that go? See, what? List, I swear, did I not just echo that file? What the heck? See the man page for more options. Echo. Oh, 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 oh. I forgot to, uh, I'll put it. There you go. <laughs> All right. Look at me being a noob. All right. So that is our backup file of our IP address. Now what we'll do is if we, all right, so now we need to redevelop the payload. Um, wait, technically we're on the same network, right? Which means I can SCP the payloads to our IP address. So I don't actually have to unplug it, right? Ask about IP address me. I even know there were multiple. <laughs> That's all cool. It's all cool. Um, we're actually in the process of developing a new course. Oh yeah, so I'm sure a lot of you guys are very new to this channel because um, Basically, hold up, let me drink uh, more tactical hydration. We earned this, we earned this drink, all right? Because we got this freaking thing on the network now. Uh, cool. Um, but yeah, so Cosmonium CS is a cybersecurity education company. Um, and we make courses and stuff. Super cool. I can actually drop the link um, to our website in the chat for you guys if you guys are curious. Um, but yeah, definitely just checking us out because we have some cool courses on like all the Hack 5 gear. Not all the Hack 5 gear, but a lot of the Hack 5 gear. Um, and we have like a premium membership of $1 a month. It's super cheap. Um, but yeah, it's super cool. Um, but yeah, that's kind of like the company and uh, it's super chill over there. Um, but yeah, we need to turn this thing. So, okay, now we have the Shark Jack on the network. Right, and now we can remotely connect to it. The only concern is, so you actually don't need like an internet connection to SSH, but um, we need to make sure that we can access this device if we're not on the network. Now I'm not gonna go off the network because I'm streaming, um, <laughs> but, but um, I can probably try to do it um, like on my phone or something because I have, uh, um, uh, Linux thing on my phone. Sorry, I'm like so I get lost so quickly. I, I might have like ADHD or something. I have no idea. Um, yeah. Anyways, <laughs> all right. So what we need to do first of all is modify this payload. I'm going to open. Uh, I think what we need to do is take this payload. It's freaking. Uh, we'll open this one in Codium too. This Codium, um, and we'll open it on this right panel right here. So, what I'm wondering is, how on earth, how did it get the uh, the IP address? Okay, so last octet is equal to this. Interesting. Interesting. You know what I'm going to do. <laughs> Oh, do we need to set up like the net mode and such? Is that why it's not working? That might be why it's not working. All right, so first of all, we're doing our LED setup. Um, after we'll get those credentials. Uh, Cause those credentials aren't going to be in text files. You guys are actually going to put your credentials in those lines um, just because of ease of use. But I'm only doing this because you know, I'm streaming and I don't need to show you guys my credentials. Anyways, um, we'll do the LED setup and we basically need to set up the payload here. So. We'll do set um, set up payload. Um, what we're going to do is we're going to take this line and paste it, and then we're going to take this line and paste it. Um, so while if config Ethernet zero inet do sleep one, wait for IP address to be obtained. Wow, what's such a smart syntax? Look at that. Definitely taking that. Um, <laughs> um, yeah, you can see how like original my code is. Okay, <laughs> I did develop all this. I'm kidding. Not this. This is all Darren Kitchen. 
Um, I love that dude, man. That dude is such a great guy. Um, so it sleeps for 10 milliseconds before it gets that octet. Super interesting. Um, okay, I see. Um, so we're setting out the payload, right? Here, we're basically um, setting up network connection obtaining all right basically we're uh, obtaining IP AD address is that what I don't know <laughs> I don't know what I'm doing uh, we're just kind of figuring it out along the way uh, great so then we can set up SSH server cool so now we have the SSH server set up um, and then we can enter stage one so stage one is getting that IP address, like actually getting it, because we just need to make sure we have one. Um, all right, so this is detecting the IP address. Um, this right here is obtaining the IP address. So instead of variables, we'll do obtain IP address. Uh, so we can do LED stage one, public, whatever. Um, Cool. So what's next? Um, we obtain the IP address, stage one, if config, Ethernet zero, grab. All right, so um, what's the difference when we stop it here all the way to here? So like if I grab this um, and we're still connected to our shark, right? Like if I, all right, cool. We are connected to our shark. Um, unexpected end of string oh did I forget that so it got that 236 that's what this does okay so what does this do ADDR 192.168.1.236 okay so all we need to do is remove that ADDR <laughs> um, can we just do like indexing um, does it work with Python, like how Python has their indexing like you can choose the starting index what index would the start at zero one two three four right yeah four um, so index four to the end so if I just did uh, let's just do IP AD. All right, let's just do uh, ADDR, right? Because that's not a command. ADDR is equal to the output of that command, right? So if I type out ADDR, or if I type out dollar sign ADDR, it oh echo dollar sign ADDR. There you go. It outputs it. So if we do echo dollar sign ADDR and then choose index four. So write index four and then that I know it's not Python but oh okay how do you do indexing I came late to the stream what is the payload for the shark deck do um right now we're building a hardware uh, backdoor just to kind of get some testing and then we're going to make it um, into a worm virus like you know have the shark deck spread a worm virus through the network because it is already on the network and we just have immediate access and it can do an mmap scan so we can see all the devices on the network all the ports on the network so as a malware developer worm virus first thing i thought of um but yeah, right now we're trying to get like the basics down we're trying to get curl on this thing wait it has an internet connection right right hold up stop 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 everything hold up thank you for asking that question because i literally forgot um, <laughs> wait, we can literally, uh, can we get our packages now? Is this working? Fail to download this first one. That's fine. That's fine. So if we try to install curl, Will this work? Is God good? 
Is he good to me today? Please. This is like, oh! Do we have girl? Yes, dude! Yes! We have girl! Oh my gosh! All this! Finally! <laughs> it has been an hour into the stream and we got curl. Let's go. Let's go. That's how we do it, y'all. It took an hour. Let's go. I think that's a world record right there. Matsi, what's good? What's good? What's good? Good to see you on the stream. Uh, yo. All right. So, uh, so that means this payload will work. Um, even if it can't get our IP address, technically. Um, let me go on my iPad real quick and sign into my email or Gmail. Let me go on my face. Make it more entertaining for you guys. Um, basically, right, you know, SMTP, um, they're like deprecating the Gmail version. I'm not, not technically SMTP is still a thing, just less secure app access is no longer a thing. But watch the um, Google can suck my blank video uh, for more clarification. Uh, all right. No, 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 no. Go back, dude. But how we doing, guys? How we doing? You just put the nerd, mo <laughs> the nerd emoji. <laughs> my glasses? Yeah, I know. I never wear these for good reason. Um, all right. Yeah, this super secure email. Give me like 32 seconds, people. Hold up. Actually, that's way longer than I actually need because I just finished what I'm trying to do. All right. Um, oh, I forgot that doesn't update. All right, cool. Oh my gosh, I'm getting recognized by my own hero. <laughs> wow. Cool. Um, can I just say check activity? All right, cool. So now that we have curl on here, right? My next idea is First of all, let's get the freaking uh, back door working. And I think if we can get the back door working, then we can actually start um, getting the uh, thingy majig. What am I talking about? Guys, well, <laughs> I always forget. I swear, I lose track so quickly. Um, you know what? We're just going to jump into the rest of the video and just pretend like I know what I'm talking about. Um, so we're not going to worry about that for right now. Uh, right now we just need to get, um, John Pittman. Thank you. <laughs> I don't know who you are, but thank you. I appreciate that. Uh, joining the happy hacker site plan. Um, that's really cool of you. Appreciate it. Um, but yeah, um, that threw me off. Yeah. Thank you person. Um, I'm assuming you're somewhere on the stream, but yeah um sorry i'm so lost now in my your little pod. don't ever say that again i will server ban you <laughs> speaking of server we have a discord server uh definitely check it out it's in the description um <laughs> how do i go to led stage two to led stage four real quick all right led stage three led stage four there you go All right, so the setup is um, detecting IP address, and then we start the SSH server. Um, then what we need to do is, do we do the... Okay, well, technically, it'll email it to us, right? Can we upload this and just assume it's going to work? All right, that's what we do. That's what we'll do it right now. All right, y'all. Pray to God. Um, CD out of here. CD to our back door. 
a uh, list and then we can do our search act upload uh, with our super secure password oh yeah this is not gonna work because we uh, that's our jack alias is dedicated to the standard IP address so we'll do it the normal way SCP tech R payload sh and then root at 172.16.24.1 and then colon slash root payload enter Oh, wait, that's still not going to work because I put the wrong IP address. What's our IP address again? Because um, now we're on the network. 192.168.1.236. There you go. See? Subscribe. Super secure password. I promise you it is. Um, cool. So, let's uh, go back to um, this thing. All right, so if we clear, we list, we go into our payload list, cat out our payload dot sh. There you go. We have our backdoor. Um, Twenty dollar donation. Oh, I appreciate it. I would drag my phone through the glass just to see the smell of the keyboard. You code on all fun and games aside. It's been amazing seeing all the growth and thank you and everyone in the chat i appreciate that mozzie i appreciate that thank you for the donation um and you about how you would drag your balls through my glass and on my keyboard but uh <laughs> you know that's going to make it into the 2022 rewind i promise you this uh, <laughs> uh but nah appreciate the love everybody um you know the support from you guys has been amazing um we're almost at 2,000 subscribers actually which is pretty cool too um yeah definitely check out the discord server in the description i'm on there all the time if you ever want to reach out to me ask questions i'm totally there um to do so uh but yeah let's test out this payload let's test out this payload um so technically our shark tech is on the network right so i'm a disconnect and then, all right, so let's unplug this thing. He said, haha, I've been drinking. Go figure. Who knew? <laughs> Who knew? All right, so just to give you guys some clarification, right? Because I can't actually change my emails on my computer. Um, I have some random Gmail account here. You guys can see that it is blank. It is empty. This is not a hoax. That is a real Gmail thingy. You can, you can hit the buttons and stuff. All right, cool. Um, this payload, let me actually explain to you guys how the payload works before we just go ahead and test it. Where did my, where? Oh, I hit F11. I was so confused on where my, you know, bar went at the top. Um, I'm assuming you guys may not completely understand what's going on in this payload. So I'm going to explain it to you. Um, so basically this is the payload, right? It's basically getting our email from our email text file and our password from our password text file. Um, then it's going to say, hey, we're setting up. Um, it's when you basically set this up so that we can make sure that we are a client on the network and stuff. Um, start the server so we can connect to it. Um, and then it gets our IP address. And um, yeah, oh, let's uh, comment this out. Um, so that gets our public IP address and then it will add it to this info.txt file along with the format for the email. So you know emails have the from, they'll have the to, they'll have the subject, which is our backdoor, and then it'll make our new line and then put the body and then this will just be our public IP address um, in that info.txt file. Then what we'll do is send it to ourselves using curl. Turn If I knew that curl could do SMTP, that would have saved my life so many times years ago, but we're going to worry about that later. Of course, this is just a test. Right now, we're going to change this in the future. Um, but this just needs to work, right? This is all testing. Um, but, and then it will just remove our text file off the computer. And that should be it. So we should get the email. Um, where is my shark jack? <laughs> it's right here. <laughs> I'm losing so much stuff today, I swear. Um, All right, 
So I have it off in the off position, obviously. I'm going to take this, plug it in, and plug it into the network and hope to God that, you know, it works or something. Um, excuse me. So let's plug this in, put it into our payload mode, and plug it into the network. When are we getting the ASMR hacking vid? I'll do it for happy hacker members. <laughs> Cause I don't need that on the public facing channel. Actually, that's a lie. I have so much BS on this channel. It's not even funny. <laughs> I could totally do that though. Like one night when I'm just doing some late night programming and don't feel like talking, I'll totally do it. I'll totally do it. All right, so term magenta, which means it's setting up, I think. Um, <laughs> All right, let's start doing different blinking stuffs. I'm just kind of waiting. Actually, I'll hold up my iPad so we can both see if we get an email or not. We're probably not going to get an email at all. This probably is going to fail miserably. But um, we need a new super, <laughs> new super sexy keyboard. I need a new one. I got a new keyboard. Hold up. Look at this keyboard, yo. And I customized the little colors and everything. That's that's a kick keyboard, bro. That's a cool keyboard. This is the Logitech G915. Your keyboard sounds like a typewriter, so. <laughs> um, all right, so I have no idea if this actually worked or not, guys. Um, Let me quickly check something. I'm not going to show my camera for this simply because um, I'm not trying to expose my IP address. Oh, is the SSH server not working? Okay, actually, I can't show my camera for this. No route to host. No. 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 We lost them, boys. <laughs> We lost him. My typewriter keyboard is sexy, you know it. <laughs> you tooling. Bro, this low key is like blowing my mind. Um Alright. So we have a way to get remote access technically, right? Um, maybe let's test out that curl command on our actual, um, uh, can we put it in army mode into the network and SSH into it? Will that still work? Does anyone know? Cause I would rather have this be already on the network. Um, so let's just keep doing this until it works. <laughs> All right, uh, we'll wait like a second. Um, have you started playing with the API we talked about this morning? <laughs> I know you're drinking because I was not this morning, but yeah, uh, I have not. <laughs> Yeah, I haven't. All right. Connect. Bit connect. <gasps> so I guess the IP address changed or something. I don't really know if I be if I'm being 110 percent honest. Um, we'll just plug this back into our computer then um, and wait for that square to come back. All right. So at least we know it's possible now. Right. When it comes to our. Uh, I wonder if the IP address changes. Oh, that was yesterday. Yeah. Yeah, it was yesterday. <laughs> See, I should have ended the stream when I actually got remote connection because now I'm like backtracking. I've been like, all right, man, we got it. Yay. Uh, technically, I mean, with that SSH IP blinker payload, that's all we really need, but it's good to like 
have the IP address be sent back to us so that way we can, you know, view it outside of just, you know, the... Alright, this thing, yo, yo, it's still buffering. Yo, SSH root at 172.16.24.1. Oh my God, bro. Yo, sure, Jack, it's taking a beating today, all right? <laughs> Let me drink some more water. Cool. It's still taking its time. Dude, the shark jack mo. This this thing best be loading. Um It's in army mode, bro. What? <laughs> Couldn't you just have it curl a web page you own to get the public IP or ping a server? Well that we just got it to get curl. It took an hour for us to get curl on it, Monty, so don't act all smart ass on us. Like you just roll in here and you know everything. <laughs> Alright, so now that we have like we have curl on it. Um alright, bro. said okay now use it but <laughs> <laughs> do you need to hop off <laughs> oh now it wants to connect right as I'm, I'm about I was about to unplug it too you guys I do not want you guys to bear witness to this hold up there you go look at this it just disconnected it just, it just disconnected. It was like, I give up. It gave up on us. Maybe the Shirt Jack needs a break. I'll unplug it for a second. Um, what we need to do, though, is take that uh, other payload and put it back on. Um, so we'll CD out of here, and we'll go into the SSH IP blinker, because this is what got us remote access onto the damn thing anyway. Um, right, yeah, so we'll need to put that payload back onto the damn thing. Decap the flag. And we live. <laughs> and we live, baby. Oh my gosh, bro. This thing is... Oh, it, it has a battery, right? I can just plug this thing back in. Alright, um... But here's the thing. If I plug it in... Alright, let's plug it in back to our computer in army mode. And hope to God that it decides to fix its stuff. All right, turn it off and then put it in army mode. Fly guy, oh, fly guy, what's good, what's good, what's good? I told you right away. All right, it doesn't work unless if I plug it in, so I'm gonna just leave it plugged in. If that degrades the battery, I have another one, so. Well, <laughs> come on, connect. Have y'all ever seen that video of BitConnect? Oh, did it just work? I told you. Come on. <laughs> this is my quicker way of seeing if it gets connected. Y'all, y'all, this thing is going to kill me, dude. This thing better work. Come on. Come on. Push. You got this, Shark Jack. Come on. <laughs> it's still buff. Did it connect? Did it connect? Yes. Yes. Oh my god. We have it. We have access again. SJ upload right now. All right now. Subscribe. That's the password. And I'm, I mean, subscribe if you want to as well. Um. Oh 
okay, hold on, hold on, hold on. So, um, let's make sure the um thingy got on. Like, if we cat payload and then payload to SH. All right, there you go. The IP blinker is back online. So, if we take this, uh, yeah, I thought it was in Vim for a second, so I just did the weird syntax. All right, so unplug, turn it off. All right, plug it into the network and turn it on. All right, and now we pray. Now we pray. It turned magenta, which means it's loading or something. I just need to see those colors. I need to see if it's the same IP address or if it changed. It's kind of just like, why don't you just turn red and then just like completely just one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five. It changed one, two, one, two, one, two, three, four, five, six or something. All right. So I think it changed. I think the IP has just changed. So 192.1, I think it's 226. No, is it 225? Oh, it's, see, the IP has just changed, yeah? Subscribe. Yeah, the IP has just changed, right? Look, if I cat out ip.txt.back, it was 236 before, and now it's 225. So we need to find a way to just save the IP address. All right, we're making a new payload. All right, it's on the network, right? Which means, right, if I do it, if config, yeah, so here's our IP address, we're on the network, awesome. So let's make a new payload, I guess. <laughs> Where's our, uh, over here, let's see the out of here and into testing or something. We'll do a codium on our payload.sh. Yeah, so then we try to make this payload that save stuff or something. Um, so if we do, let's look at Mati's idea. Let's look at his idea, right? If we go on here and curl, because we have curl now, right? So if we do curl, uh, eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. Is that how it works? No, <laughs> you have to curl some random website, right? Yeah, 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 my bad. I'm tripping. I'm tripping. Um, I'm thinking ping. See, I'm tired. HTTPS going slash slash cosmodium cs dot com. Is that a thing? Or curl tech URL something like that. I even add the curl command in front of it. Uh. Isn't it tech tech URL, something like that? Monty, what are you talking about? Can you just have it curl a web page? To get the what are you talking about, Monty? This is not working. Can we use ping? We have ping. We'll just use ping. Ping dot eight dot eight dot eight dot eight. And then we can do a, a number. Can we have like a Seconds until pain exits. We'll just do tech W one. Did that even is that did that? Can you change the IP to stack? Uh, I don't think so. Cause it actually doesn't matter if the IP is stack. I'm not even showing my screen. I'm so sorry, guys. Uh, guys, let me know if I'm not sharing my screen sometimes because I might just forget. Um, yeah, so basically we're, we have it on the uh, network, right? If I do if config, our new IP address is, uh, what's it called? One, this is our new IP address, dot .225, right there. Um, so curl doesn't work. Ping, if I just do the ping without the tag. Yeah, but I have to cancel it. Uh, I guess we could do that piece of beautiful syntax Darren did for us. Um, where's this? Um, does this work? 
Yeah, so 198.160.1. Yeah, so this works. So if we get, if we copy this line and paste it, if we do an echo dollar sign public. Okay, so this is what our payload is going to be. We'll just have it do the. All right, so this needs to do all the same stuff that this does in order to get our remote connection, right? So which means we need to do all of this, right? So we'll paste all of that. Um, then the public will be our replacement for the last octet. And then we'll even do the LED off. We'll even, we'll even, we'll even do that. Um, this whole thing is just getting the output of our last octet, right? What's the digit? Oh, that's from here. Got you. So what we can do is, can we have this command be saved to a proof of concept.txt? And if we list, if we cat proof of concept.txt, all right, our IP address is there. So instead, I might have it save those contents. Um, so this needs to be so that way it saves. Okay, so instead of this, did my keyboard just die? What? All right, my keyboard was tripping for a second. Uh, cool. So what we'll have it do is instead of all this, we'll have this and have it join the Oscar Discord community. We have built when ask questions, add features onto payloads like this. Come and join and show us your ideas. Yeah, totally. The Discord server is amazing. Uh, the community over there is just awesome really actually um so if we call this addr.txt um so that should work right <laughs> right guys <laughs> right guys uh yeah we'll just save it as addr.txt i don't really care about the loop folder i don't really care about anything else we just need to make that work uh, so what we'll do is we'll actually, uh, X out of here, right? So if we, that's our testing payload, right? Yeah. So if we do SCP tech R at our, uh, get our payload and then root at our, um, IP address, which is 192.168.1.22. What's the new IP address? Uh, that two two five, and then colon slash root slash payload. That should be it, right? Subscribe super secure password. I swear it is. Um, cool. So if we look at this thing, right list. Um, if we, we get rm tech rf our proof of concept dot txt and our ip dot txt list if we see into payload list uh and cat our payload we'll see that we have the payload that we made right there awesome so i think we can just do sh payload dot sh real life and just see if that works um Okay, so it's doing its thing. <laughs> it said killed. If we list, we have a cat addr.txt. All right, so that looks like it works, right? The truth, however, is that we won't know if it works until we unplug it and plug it back in. So we're going to have to risk it, guys. Oh, you said regex it out. I even see that comment. 
Uh, anyways, uh, <laughs> we're going to go ahead and disconnect from our network, right? So I'll unplug it. All right, I turned it off. All right, it is off. It's still blinking, even though it's off. Um, All right, I'll just unplug it. All right, you good, Shark Jack? You need a little breather? This thing's going through some stuff. <laughs> I told you right away. All right, I think it should be good a little bit, maybe. All right, plug this jump back in. Plug it into the net. Ah! <laughs> just drop my Shark Jack. Uh, plug it into the network and turn it all the way up into payload mode and let it do its magic stuff. Um, now we wait, you know what I mean? That shirt it looks like it's having a bad day. Yeah, for real. Oh, I didn't give any like LED stuff, did I? Nah, I probably didn't. Oh, oh no, I had some of it. I had the LED set up. And then LED off, I think. So I'll wait a second. I'll wait a little sec. I'll wait a couple of seconds to let it do its thing. Um, in the meantime, um, that hopefully should work. I'm hoping that works. Um, if it gets the IP address, that means we can have it curl it back to us through SMTP so we can get it and then we can do the rest of our stuff. I am going to replace the disk, uh, the SMTP later. Uh, we just need a basic proof of concept that works and we can upgrade it later. Um, and honestly, when we get to the, what, 2000 subscriber mark, I'll do a giveaway. Um, Cause I know a lot of people have been asking for giveaways, but I don't know what people want. What do you guys want for a giveaway? Let me know, what do you guys want for a giveaway? Actually, yeah, that's a great question. And it's funny, I haven't even finished the, you know, 1,000 subscriber giveaway. Um, I mean, the 1,000 subscriber thingy magic that we did. Um, so, I unplugged the shirt jack. Uh, it's unplugged. All right. I'm going to turn it off. Give it a second to breathe. <laughs> this thing has been through some stuff, bro. And this is the one that's part of my EDC, so this is like dangling around on my keychain, keychain and stuff. Um, but I'm dead serious, guys. In the chat, what do you guys want for a giveaway for 2,000 subscribers? Because we're close. We're like 100 subscribers away. Uh, the new OMG adapter. Gotcha. All right, so I put it into arming mode. to start blinking and stuff. I'm going to plug this into my computer. I told you right away. All right. Cool. We're on the computer. So now we have to wait again. You know, this little this little game we have to play when the short jack takes forever to connect. Um, yeah, let's give it, it's, let it take us time. Um, maybe you guys didn't hear me. Should I put something in the... I told you right away. All right, so I'm glad that this payload that worked is the thing that worked. Um, is it connected? It is. All right, this is the moment of truth right here, y'all. This is it. Like this defines everything that we have done for the past like hour and a half. So if we see into payload and list. Oh, I'm going to jump off a bridge. Yo, why is this payload not working? <laughs> Replica of those glasses. <laughs> well, I missed a thing. Oh, what's good, size? I didn't even see you. Oh my gosh, I'm so mad. Yo, why is this? Sorry, Jack. Come on, yo. This is not working. <sighs> CD out of here, list. Uh, unless if it's like 
the payload isn't run locally or something like that? No, because there that's too no. Um hmm. I'm trying to figure this out. A Cosmo plushie with a voice box that says, hey, hackers. Dude, that would be killer. What the heck? I would probably make it like the C, though. I wouldn't make it the... I would make it Planet Cosmo uh, instead of my face. <laughs> yeah, Planet Cosmo would be better. I would buy it. Yeah. Um, but yeah, payload. This payload is not working. So, how does... You know what we can do? All right, you know what? This is what we're doing, guys. This is what we're doing. If we can't make our payload to work, we're just gonna modify Darren's payload to work for us. See, we gotta use our brains, y'all. This is what we gotta do. This is what we gotta do. All right, hold up. So, <laughs> uh, we're going to basically remove, actually, we don't really need to remove this payload. We're gonna copy our SSH IP blinker payload.txt into here. All right, there you go. Awesome. So let's go into here. All right, and we are going to uh, get, you know, slap this thing out of here. Hey, you know, this was uh, created by, <laughs> this was not created, created by not hack by Darren. All right, that's what it was created by. All right, um, so, this is his payload, right? What we need to do is modify his payload to make it work for us. Um, here, we'll even add that. So, what we need to have it, I guess, do is, <sighs> instead of last octet, could we just have it get, oh, it's getting, Just RM hashtag more Chris code though? Yeah, most definitely. Most definitely. Uh, when in doubt, steal from other creators. I'm not stealing. I'm taking inspiration. Um, just RM tech RF. Eat some oranges. Everything will be okay. Definitely. Uh, brilliant, sir. Reverse engineer that. <laughs> uh, I like the way you talk. Reverse engineer that job. All right. So um, what we need to do Hold up, where's my mouse? Alright, um. Snap Bumble, it's open source. Yeah, it is. Alright, so what we need to do is turn this payload into this payload. Alright, so. Uh. Cool. So, LED setup. Wait a second. Wait a second. Set client for Sharjack version 1.1.0. 1. 1. Do we not set it for 1.1.1 1. 1. 1? or? See, now I'm confused. Now I'm confused. You know what? It works when he had it here, so. Oh, plus, plus, plus. So everything past 1.1.0. What version do we have? I'm pretty sure I updated this, right? If I list, all right, cool. Cat version. Yeah, 1.1.0. All right, we're good. We're good, guys. We're good. Hashtag not hack five Darren. Yeah, that's real. That might be my new hacker alias, just not hack five Darren. I think that might be it. Someone has to clip that and send it to him. <laughs> Um, all right, so sleep, I have done like nothing since I copied this. All right, let's go ahead and start copying some of the stuff over. So in our LED setup, we can paste that into there. Um, we have a pass w.txt in there, right? If we cd into our payload, oh, not the caps lock, cd into payload list. We have pass w and we have email. All right, perfect. 
Um, cool. So what else does it do? Uh, it gets that client thingy majig. It gets that. It does its thingies. Um, all right, yeah, we added all that in here to try to make it work, but that didn't work. So, <laughs> hashtag more Chris to go. Hashtag more Chris go. Or hashtag more Cosmo. Hashtag my shark don't wanna. <laughs> my shark don't want none unless you got CP son. And I'm always confused in cryptic even. Oh, I like the cryptic reference. <laughs> um, oh my god, my brain hurts. What time? How long? It's been an hour and 41 minutes, yo. I'll probably stop at like the two hour mark because I'm not trying to do this for too long. It's already a, almost 11. Um, yeah, alright, so let's just, uh, you know, copy this for my old code. Yeah, so the IP address, right? Like this is literally the same thing as last octet. So, wow, true. Ugh. Yeah, so this is the part that just does the uh, the thingies. So instead of this, we're going to comment this out. We're going to comment this little thing out, and uh, we'll comment last octet. We'll make a copy of it, uncomment it, and we'll just call this. Uh, We'll just call this full octet, all right? We'll call it octets. Yeah, I like that, octets. That sounds cool. 24 hour stream. The longest stream I've done is 10 hours consecutively, yeah. Um, um, graph, inet, add ADDR, print two, OK, four. All right, so all we need to do is not include this last section, right? Right, guys? Right? Right? <laughs> Alright, yeah, that's correct. Cool. So now that we have that um, octets, if, uh, yeah, we don't, we don't we don't need to worry about that either. Um, what we'll do here is uh, we'll get the, you know, things here. Um, you going to be on voice chat later, Cosmo? I got work in an hour, so I'm assuming not. Screw my coworkers quarters. Um, I hopefully will be. I would make no promises, but I will try. I will. I, pro I will try. I will try. Um, and then what we do is this. Oh my gosh, guys, this is like brain melting work. Um, so. I guess this can be stage one then. <laughs> uh, technically, that's not stage one, but you know, we we don't care. Um, so that's stage one now. This is stage two, and that's stage three. Um, we won't even delete the info that txt. Actually, no, we need to because I don't need you guys stealing my uh, temporary email credentials. Um, all right. So hypothetically speaking, this should work, right? Um, so let's. Just do the, you know, SJ upload, subscribe, oh, subscribe, super secure password. Uh, this is the one in our testing directory. Awesome. So hypothetically speaking, if we get out our payload.sh, it should be that payload, which it is. Cool. So we'll disconnect it. I'll go on my face. We'll disconnect. Uh, All right, turn the dang thing off. All right, turned it off, even though it's charging. The battery's full. This thing's probably gonna explode in my hand. But for real, 24 hour stream? Yeah, I, I could easily do that, bro. Nope. Should I do a 24 hour stream? Is that the move, guys? Is that the move? I'm taking these glasses off. All right. All right, so now what I'm gonna do is plug it into the network. All 
<laughs> wow, Leviosa, like the freaking Harry Potter. You see, I, I watched the first half of the first Harry Potter movie twice. I could not watch Harry Potter. I got so bored, no disrespect. But I could need more tactical water for that. Yeah, I'm like almost out, but hey, you know, we'll finish it off. Twenty-four hour cartography stream. See, I need to finish the codex project because it's just been sitting on my freaking uh, um, yeah. Let me go on my screen real quick. Like, if I go over to my GitHub, yeah. See, the codex project is just sitting there in our current projects, <laughs> and then there's only rat the goat, um. So our our shirt jacket is blinking and stuff. <sighs> Man, our, so we have remote access, which is good. We'll let <laughs> well let's collab. Yeah, I know. Um, we'll have to find some a good time to get onto that project, dude. Um, bro, I have no idea what the payload looked like. Hold up, did we add an LED finish? Of course we didn't. So we won't know if it's done. All right, what's the stage three? Oh my gosh. You guys can tell I'm a really good pillow developer. Um, stage three is the double blink. All right, so it is doing the double blink right now, which means it's doing this, but I didn't get an email. So, Oh, it's because I didn't change the variable. Ah, oh my God. Oh, I hate programming. Freak. I hate programming. <laughs> I hate it. I don't know why I do this. It's not fun. It's a headache. This is, I get no enjoyment from this at all. This sucks. <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my God. Someone shoot me. Um, see, I don't even know if the catting out from the variables works, e I mean, from the text files works either, but, oh my God. Ah, I'm going to punch something. That is like so annoying to me, dude. What the heck? Like, holy, please tell me that has been the problem this whole time. No, it has not been the problem this whole time. Uh, <laughs> I hope, but no, no, because this. Bain has the same variable, right? Yeah, no, that wasn't the problem. It's just, you know, bad programming. Bang. Yeah, I know. <laughs> oh, that's me blowing my head off or some shit? Yeah. Um, All right, did it connect to our computer? Yeah. I might quit, you know, my cybersecurity career after that. Just... All right, so we have remote connection to it. I'm not even going to do it. I'm just uploading the file again. Subscribe. Oh, I have caps lock on. All right. Um, I told you. All right, I unplugged it. <laughs> uh, it's all worth it when it works. If it works, mate. No, I'm playing. It's going to work. We make it work. It always works, bro. It always... I'm not going to wait for that one, but it always works. Um, all right. I plugged it into the network. Okay, so we have half of it done. Like, we can get remote access. So, technically, yes, we have a back door. But the, getting the IP address is like you have to look at it. You know what I mean? And it would be a lot more convenient if it sent you back the IP address. That's what we're trying to do. But the universe does not like us. So, you know. And I still didn't add the LED finish, so I have no idea if it's finished or not. All right. Uh, anyways. Um, <sighs> yeah, I don't think. Okay. Let's revisit our stuff. Let's rethink this out. Um, all 
brainstorming. Can you end map for the IP? I see, here's the thing. Yes, I can. I totally can. Um, but the thing is in concept, I wouldn't have access to the network, so I couldn't MF it. I think. Is that how that works? Yeah, that's how it works. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> um, but right now I could totally end map for it. Yeah. Um, if the SSH server is even set up, let me go on my screen. Should we just do that? Freaking, oh my God, end map. M app uh one nine two dot one six eight dot one dot wasn't it it's like one slash twenty four or something like that two slash twenty four I can't remember um tech port uh twenty two I hope that's the right thing no that's not how it works. Or is it 124? I literally forgot. Or do I have to do like the tech uh, secret scan? Host is up. How do you do the subnet again? <laughs> I literally forgot to do the subnet. Uh, Alright. Oh my god. MAP scan subnet. Bro, my freaking brain is too tired for this. Just show me the syntax, mate. Just show me the syntax. I don't need to know how you freaking download and that. Alright, done. Oh, oh, I was using the... Oh, I'm so dumb. I swapped the freaking z one and zero. This is a zero, right? Yeah, there you go. Zero that one. Alright, there you go. I don't even know if I should be showing this on stream, but I don't care. Oh. <laughs> All right. Uh, oh, I should have probably done a tech verbose, right? Uh, tech B. I'm willing to restart it. All right. Show me all the things, mate. <laughs> right no fr freak this this is going to take way too long no we're not doing this um what time is it it's we're an hour and 53 minutes of this stream dude um we got remote access which is good we just need to have the ip sent in a better form factor um I guess what we could do if we wanted to is uh all right, let's like undo all of this. Um All right. Um so Yeah, so while wow, true, so this is basically what um, gives us remote access, right? So can we just have it like, oh, unless we, <laughs> oh my God, dude, I just need the, all right, I know what we're going to do. All right, so we have remote access. I think what we need to explore, I because we have remote access. The payload works. Like if we use like the um, was the IP blinker, we can remote access into the thing. Uh, however, uh, we only know the IP address by looking at the thing to see what colors it turns into and then turning those into numbers. Um, but I wanted to have it like log the IP address and then send it back to us. Um, but the thing that's B 
being weird, this SMTP thing. Oh, wait a second. Let me plug this in. Boys, I have an idea. Boys and girls. You know, like 0.3% of my audience is females. Or something like that. <laughs> I think that 0.3% is just Motsi, but... <laughs> Let me show you guys my screen. What we're going to do is wait for this thing to connect and we're going to try keyword try to send an email to us with curl. If it doesn't work, I'm going to try this idea that was left by a comment. I think it was Bob Smith or something like that who left the comment. I'm 110% sure that name is real. Um, those are real women. <laughs> I'm sure. I'm sure they are. No doubt in my mind, mate. Alright, cool. So, if we SSH into this, um, subscribe is the real name. Uh, list, if we see, see needs a payload, just out of curiosity, is anything in here? No. Alright, so, I might have to show my face for this, actually. Let me just create the variables real quick, just so that way I'm not um, exposing myself on the internet, um, by accident. Okay, so it does work. Interesting. Okay, let me carefully go back on here. You can still hear me? Good. I wanted you to hear me. Alright. So, if we CD into payload, carefully ca save these as variables, um, hopefully, without exposing my um, temporary... I mean, y'all can use this email if you want to, but... <laughs> Let me actually just do some stuff before y'all just go ahead and expose me. All right. Um, all right. Anyways, cool. Let's copy this. All right, I don't know. Actually, you know what? It's not worth the risk. <laughs> I'm showing my screen. I'm not showing my screen. Can't op open info.txt. Oh, let me create that file real quick. Oh, SMTP isn't supported on the shark jack. So do we need to support or SMTPS is not supported or disabled? Do we just change it to SMTP? Hold up, let me show you guys my screen real quick. I think I can show you guys my screen. Yeah, I can show you guys my screen. All right, so right now, I know everything's super confusing. Uh, basically, we made an info.txt file. I can't show you the contents of the file, but basically it, contains the format of our email um if we go through this let me just do a control a oh whoops <laughs> all right if we go through just do smtp critical smtp is not supported by that oh. is it because we're connected to our computer and we don't have internet it might be that that might be the case it's either that or uh Oh yeah, I forgot how to do this. It's like this. All right, let's copy this. Uh, I literally forgot how to do this. Um, how do you copy this again? 
I literally have, how are you copying T-Mux? <laughs> I literally say this a while back too. Uh, copy, paste, and T-Mux, yeah. Isn't it like, um, oh, it's Control W, got you. All right, there you go. And then, uh, oh, and then you do the uh, Control B paste. Yeah, all right, cool. But I needed it on my actual clipboard. Um, <laughs> all right, whatever. I'll figure it out another day. Anyways, um, we'll just do curl SMTP not supported. Sending email, everything curl using core using curl. Um, yeah, I know how to do it. Bro. All right. I think this is about time I introduce. Okay. I, this was going to be for a future video, but I guess I got to tell you guys it now. Um, and I guess I'll end off the video with that. Um, so if you guys have not seen two videos ago, I think I made a video called Google can suck my blank. And it was basically me ranting for two minutes about Google. Um, talking about Google's basically disabling their less secure app access feature. And a lot of my malware and codes and projects and payloads use that feature. So I had to, I had to find a new way to, um, basically hold up. I have to find a new way to like replace that. Right. So I need to find a new way for, um, instead of email to send like IP addresses back to my computer or files or whatever. Um, we have to find a new way to do that. And someone left a comment. I think it was Bob Smith. They deserve credit. Let me find who it is. Um, cause I want to give them credit for, uh, their, uh, suggestion on what to do. Um, comments. Uh, where is this? Yeah. His name is Bob Smith. Okay. I was totally right. Yeah. Bob Smith. Um, they left a comment suggesting that they should, uh, yeah, the no, not only right. Yeah. Um, feeling the best part of debugging. I know, right? Um, but yeah, so basically they suggested that we use Discord webhooks instead of SMTP. And that is such a cool idea that I never thought about. Like, imagine like we could have like some sort of malware or like guys who are familiar with only a rat, right? Imagine you guys can make your own little Discord server and then just integrate the webhooks into the malware. So when you get key logs sent back to your computer, they can go straight into your Discord server and you can just get the key logs like in a key log channel and then get like all the webcam images in a webcam channel and like just have your own only rat Discord web server or like Discord server for like, you know, your targets and such. That's such a cool idea. And I was going to save this for a future stream and just try to do, you know, some proof of concept stuff now, but I think we can just incorporate this concept into, uh, you know, this payload. So that's what we're going to do in the next stream. The next stream, we're going to get discord webhooks instead of SMTP for malware and payloads. Um, technically we got the back door, you know, we got it, but it's just not as efficient as I wanted it to be. So we're going to keep working on it. Obviously that'll probably be the stream. Um, L plus ratio plus no SMTP plus discord plus webhook equals your code. <laughs> uh, yeah, just about, you forgot to, uh, you know, it's handy by a thread somewhere in there, but yeah. Um, but that's probably going to end the stream here. I uh, appreciate you guys for joining. We hit about that two hour mark. I kind of tried to stop at the two hour mark. Um, but yeah, appreciate you guys for watching. Um, awesome to see you guys, some newer faces in the chat again, check out the discord channel or discord server. Um, super cool. Um, we have a whole awesome community over there. Um, but yeah, that's where I want to end this video or stream or whatever. You can tell I'm kind of tired and kind of losing my words and such, but, um, yeah, Make sure to leave a like, um, to definitely check out our courses and such, cosmodiumcs.com slash courses, and I will see y'all in the next one. So stay happy, stay positive, and as always, happy hacking.
Hey hackers, Blue Cosmo from CCS here, and I wanted to introduce you guys to the Happy Hacker Site Plan. The Happy Hacker Site Plan is a plan where you guys can support us for only $1 a month. That's right, $1. With this comes exclusive benefits like courses, articles, videos, and access to our entire cybersecurity knowledge base. Um, if this interests you and you guys want to um, get access to all this, check out the link in the description. It's only $1, so we definitely appreciate your guys' support. Um, anyway, enjoy the video and uh, happy hacking.